These are the worst topics you could write about for your personal statement for your college applications. If you write about these topics, more than likely, you are cooked. My name is Lordrick and I graduated from Stanford University and I've worked in college admissions for several years now. But once upon a time, I used to be a loser high school senior just like you. I applied to my dream school, Early Action, and I thought I kind of cooked on my essays, but as it turns out, I was the one that got cooked instead. So to help you avoid making the same mistakes that I did, here's some really overdone and really generic essay topics that you might want to avoid for your personal statement. Number one, overcoming a sports injury. Writing about overcoming a sports injury is the most generic essay topic out there, and everyone says you should avoid it. This is because everyone and their mom does sports and many people have gotten injuries. And so this means that there isn't actually a whole lot you can say that someone else couldn't, and there isn't really a lot to say that hasn't already been said. Themes of frustration and resilience are super overdone because anyone who writes essays about sports injuries writes the same exact essay. So it's actually hard to make an essay that stands out unless you have some really unique circumstances surrounding your injury. Number two, challenges you face during COVID. Writing in your personal statement about challenges you face during COVID is really hard because there's not much to say about it that hasn't already been said. We all live through the pandemic together. So themes of loneliness, loss, and isolation have already been driven into the ground by the thousands of other students who chose to write about this topic. So maybe instead of writing about challenges that you faced during COVID, since everyone experienced similar challenges, maybe instead you could write about something unique that you were only able to accomplish as a result of being stuck at home during the pandemic. For example, writing about something you only had time to do once the pandemic was underway. Number three, someone who is special to you. Writing about someone who's special to you is really challenging because it's so hard to do correctly. Oftentimes it starts with you talking about someone who is really special to you and who has really inspired you and you start talking about their life and how much they mean to you, but the whole essay ends up being about that person instead of focusing on you and your growth as a result of having a relationship with that person. Funnily enough, this kind of topic is the exact thing that I wrote about for my own personal statement for my college applications. But the key thing that I kept in mind while writing the essay was to always focus on me at the center of the essay and how I grew as a result of my relationship with that person. You want to make sure that everything you talk about directly links back to you rather than talking about the other person too much. Number four, growing up in an immigrant household. Writing about growing up in an immigrant household is not as unique of a topic as everyone thinks. So many people are immigrants themselves, and even more people are the children of immigrants. Stories about stinky lunches and cut up fruit can only go so far, and it oftentimes a lot of the same themes come up in these kinds of essays. Writing about struggling between two competing cultures is something that people have been doing for decades, making it really hard to find a unique angle to write about. Number five, traveling to another country for a service trip. Writing about traveling to another country for a service trip is dangerous because it can easily devolve into looking like you have some sort of safety your complex, especially if you're a white person going to a developing country. Lots of times these essays talk about how a person had an epiphany about poverty or life or something else during these trips. These essays tend to come off as being really privileged, especially considering how meaningful volunteer work can be done locally without having to travel to another country. And so in general, these kinds of essays that focus on poverty tourism kind of gives you a bad look. Number six, moving to another state or country. Moving to another state or country is another common thing that lots of people go through. So themes of being an outsider and never having a constant place are pretty common. So again, there's not really much unique to be said about this. Although it could be a more interesting essay if you focused on a specific thing that you had to adapt to, such as learning a new language or some cultural norms you didn't know about that place beforehand and how you navigate that gap. Number seven, going through a breakup. Going through a breakup as the topic of your personal statement for your college applications is something I see a lot more than I should. Why do people write about this? I don't really know. Maybe it's to try to look like they've gone through some really hard times, but at least in my opinion, high school relationships are often not seen as that serious, so it's kind of hard to take them seriously in the eyes of someone much older than you such as the people who are going to be evaluating your applications. I think that there are much better ways of being able to talk about the same themes of sadness and overcoming that sadness. So please do not write about going through a breakup. Number eight, regurgitating a laundry list of items on your resume. I see a lot of essays that end up just being someone listing out every item on the resume. I think this is pretty bad because it doesn't really tell a story about you. And at least in the scope of college applications, most of these items are already going to be mentioned elsewhere in some sort of list format, such as in your extracurricular activities section or your awards section or your transcripts or elsewhere. I think it would be a lot more impactful and better for your overall chances of admissions to really narrow in on just one of those things and really flesh that out into a complete story. You want to be able to talk about what you've learned and how you contributed to that one thing that you decided to focus on. And if you're talking about a hundred different things, you can't really devote enough time to really fleshing anything out. Number nine, struggling to succeed in a difficult 
difficult class. Writing about struggling to succeed in a difficult class is a hard topic to write about because again, it is something that is also really common. I'm sure that everyone has struggled in a difficult class at least once. I mean, I think showing your perseverance and ability to overcome obstacles is great, but this situation often doesn't hold as much weight as a student would like to show because one class is not really that much in the grand scheme of things. I think that it could instead be better to write about some other broader circumstance in your life that has resulted in your struggles in the class among affecting other aspects of your life and how you navigated those struggles. I think this could be a better essay because it really expands the scope of things while still being able to touch on those same themes. Number 10, why you want to study your major. Writing about why you want to study your major is such a bad topic to write about for your personal statement because chances are other supplemental essay prompts in your application are probably going to ask about the same exact thing. So if you decide to write your personal statement about why you want to study your major, later down the line when you come across the essay prompt asking you why you want to study your major, what are you going to do then? Write about the same thing twice? I don't think so. Since it's a bad idea to double dip, it would be better to pick another topic altogether. Unless you can find a unique angle about you exploring your academic interests without necessarily tying it down to a specific major. Other than that, I don't think this is a really good topic for your personal statement. Writing the personal statement is the hardest part of the entire college application process. The reason the things I talked about are bad topics to write about is either because they are difficult to navigate or they're so commonly done that it's hard to stand out with them. So if you really want to use one of these, you'll really need to think outside of the box. That's why I would recommend you try to find some other topic to write about. If you want to hear what some good essay topics to write about for your personal statement are, leave a comment down below. I know that the whole college application process is really hard, but if you just stick to my advice, the entire process can be just as easy as hitting like and subscribe.